Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, we have a VW Golf here with the engine warning light on and it's a 2001 petrol model that we're in right now. We're going to use the Autel AL419 which is a diagnostic engine scan tool which will give us the fault codes and hopefully tell us where the problem is with the, um, the vehicle which is causing the engine warning light. Uh, so first of all we're going to click on the OBD2 or EOBD section, it's just basically the, uh, the check engine light there. And what it's doing now is it's trying to communicate with the vehicle. Different vehicles communicate in different languages which are called diagnostic protocols. Um, so it's just searching through the different languages to see which uh, language it'll be able to speak to the, this VW Golf in. Uh, it's ISO 9141-2 incidentally is this diagnostic protocol in this vehicle as you can see there. Alright so it's telling us codes found one and the mill status is on so what we need to do is just erase data from the previous test because we don't want that getting uh, mixed up with the data that we're going to get on this test. Right so first of all we're going to, as you can see we've got a few options but what we want to do first of all is just go in and read fault codes. So we'll just click on stored codes and it's giving us a fault code there of P0420 with a a short explanation saying catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank 1. Now that to me tells me it's a problem with the O2 sensor, one of the O2 sensors bank 1. Um, so what we need to do is uh, just double check which O2 sensor that is. Uh, it sounds like we'll need to get it changed out, put the new one in, then of course erase the trouble codes and that should get rid of the engine warning light, shouldn't be a problem. Um, we do, let's have a look at pending codes as well because we've got a P0304 cylinder form misfire detected. Well, the vehicle is running absolutely fine. Um, there's no problem with any of the uh, the misfires uh, and any of the cylinders. So we can assume, as it's a pending code, that that's an old fault code, um, which just hasn't simply hasn't been cleared yet. So we'll just get rid of that one in our own time. But for now, it's a case of uh, putting the new O2 sensor in and then erasing the fault code. Um, you can find this Autel AL419. Uh, tool available just by clicking the link directly below this video uh, You will find a bit more information and a few more videos on the actual tool itself. Uh, so thanks for watching